Hey guys, it is part 100 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Yes, you heard me right. Part 1 freaking 100. Man, this is awesome, guys. This is 100 videos of Fallout New Vegas. That is freaking awesome. I feel like I'm going to burn now, but uh, that makes this what? Only my, yeah, only my second ever project. God, I don't know what that was. It's kind of a mixed burp and I don't know. But yeah, this is part 100. It's only my second Let's Play to hit 100 videos. And I am very, very happy about that. Well, because it's only the second time it's ever happened, so I'm super excited about it. Alright, we detonated a couple of nukes down there. Are there any more that I can see from up here? Okay, so I am. I know I'm supposed to climb down, but I want to see if there are any other nukes. Uh, what do I want to use? I might just use this. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I think I'll just use this. Why not? I want to use something different. Use up my 5.56s five, five, instead. Come on. Although maybe if I'm going to be basically sniping, I should probably just be using either a sniper rifle or some other long-range rifle. Anyway, let's climb on down. Start making our way through. Uh, what's over here? Like, I don't even remember how much is here, but this place is freaking big. What's this? Oh, you, Ulysses Log. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, I'll take all of that. I don't really want the 357, but I'll take everything else. Bottle caps, yep. So yeah, I still remember part 100. Oh, look at this. Duffel bag. Nice! That's actually some really good stuff. I still remember part 100 of Fallout 3 was... I believe it was actually when I found... I went out and found a whole bunch of alien power cells in one of the random locations that you can find them. So, I still remember back to then, and that's pretty cool. You can go home, Courier. Uh, I wish I could, but I'm kind of in the middle of a lot of combat and a bunch of scary, freaky, marked men things that are probably going to kill me at some point soon. Uh, yeah. Crap, I looked away for a second. That was bad time to look away. Sorry, I'm texting somebody in this, so kind of getting distracted. Recording at a bad time, maybe, I don't know, but I really had to record today because this is literally the first freaking day in like a month where I'm like home alone and have the chance to record without really getting interrupted by parents and dog. Well, no, I mean, my dogs can still interrupt me, but that's not really that big a deal. Uh, what else? Let's look around in these suitcases because they usually have a lot of stuff and that one did. And I don't need the empty bottles. Ooh, lots of sarsaparilla, and I should probably eat something and heal up a bit. Uh, where are they? Alright, that's better. <laughs> I was very thirsty. So yeah, I still remember that, though. That video of Fallout 3, we're going around finding uh, alien power cells, and... Ah, I still love Fallout 3. That was still one of my favorite projects of all time. I think it, it was one of my best as well, even if the... It was the first time, granted, I was using that new camera that I'm still using at this time and will probably be Dad, retiring soon. Hey, Dad, what? Check out this robot I found. Careful, Tommy. I've never seen a robot like that before. It might be dangerous. He's not dangerous. Look, he's hurt. Can we take him home, Dad? Maybe Mom can fix him. I don't know, son. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm confused. How exactly did you know he was injured in the first place? How did you know he was lonely? <laughs> uh, I don't know. So that's where you got the plate. So you got it. What's Chicago? Uh, I don't know. But that is actually a very unique point there, is that that reveals that Chicago was an enclave encampment. So that's actually really interesting. So that's actually sort of what revealed that Chicago was actually a still pretty much an enclave encampment. Because you might remember in the earlier talks they were talking about Hellfire Armor. They were basically going to divert all the resources from the iBot program or from parts of the iBot program into making Hellfire Armor. Hellfire Armor was not existent until 2277, which was the time of Fallout 3 when it first became available for use. Therefore, that means that there is likely still a base in Chicago, given that this game takes place just four years later. So, because of that, that is... that makes me wonder if the Enclave are going to have anything to do whatsoever with uh, Fallout 4. I don't know if they will or not. I think it's going to be... I would hope that they would just put the Enclave and the Brotherhood in as like, sort of more minor characters. That's sort of what I'm hoping for. Because, you know, the Enclave and the Brotherhood, well, ow! Satchel charges. Because the Enclave were the major, the primary antagonists for two straight games. They got two games, so... I don't really think they need a third game as the main antagonist. I mean, they can be in it as, you know, a much smaller role, absolutely, but I would prefer not to see them as the main antagonist again. Because, you know, it's time to give someone else that role. The Brotherhood of Steel was obviously the primary group in uh, Fallout 3, the primary uh, good guys in Fallout 3. And they were fairly heavily present in Fallout New Vegas, especially in certain quests, although not as present. I don't know what their role was in the earlier Fallout games, like 2 or the original. So, I don't know exactly how big of a role they've been in the earlier Fallout games, if they were a big role or not. I uh, would... Oh, man, this actually doesn't weigh that much. Man, this is a lot of guys. Jeez. Maybe I should stop using this, because this just really is not doing enough damage quickly. Alright. Hey, hey, no. No sneaking up on me. Keep getting distracted by texting. Anyway. Uh, ooh, man. That would actually be good if it just... I don't really have the weight for it, though. Alright. Okay, there's only, like, four guys left, so this isn't too bad. Oh, crap, he's got a plasma caster. Uh, let's knock that out of his arms first. Got it. All right. At least got rid of it. This plasma caster is actually pretty damaging at times. Okay, you know what? This gun is not doing enough of a good job for me, so I'm swapping to something else. Uh, I could run the Assault Carbine. Yeah, let's just run the Assault Carbine. I don't know if it'll punch through their armor or not, but at least it's fast. And it'll probably break after, like... Oh, it does punch through their armor! Nice! Excellent. It's actually... Ar well, it's not armor-piercing, but it's, I guess, strong enough to get through these guys' armor because their armor is fairly weak. Aha! This thing's actually working great. That super high rate of fire... Come here! Come here! Come here! Ah, oh, great. Phone just rang, so that's unfortunate, but... It only rings twice now because, actually, we just recently bought a really cheap answering machine so that it would stop ringing ten freaking times. Or twenty freaking times often, so... Very happy about that, so no longer have to deal with it. But see, it's stopped now, and somewhere it will be recording the message. <laughs> I don't care, though, because... It's really kind of funny, though, because we only have it for my uh, grandmother that lives with us. She's the only person that uses it. None of us ever, obviously, use a landline anymore. Alright, 
Eddie, it would be great if you could wake up sometime soon, buddy, and, like, help me again. And the enemies are too close. Ooh, very easy. Well, I know that I can hack this. For very little. Oh, crap, I did not mean to take the cups. Ah, uh, so inconvenient. Goodbye. Yeah, they wouldn't make bad targets back at home, but I mean, I'm not carrying cuffs all the way back from the divide just to put them on my target range or shooting range back in my house, because that would be silly. Oh my god. Seriously, can you stop planting freaking satchel charges? Because I can't see them. That's the issue I have with them, is you can't see them the way that you can see the other traps, the normal mines. Alright, we still have two more uh, Eddy upgrades to find, and I have the uh, locations pulled up on my computer, but I don't remember exactly where they are. We'll find them later on, though. I can promise that. We'll find some way to find them. I mean, I can just look at a video probably and realize exactly where the locations are. It's not a big deal. I'll figure it out eventually. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, stim pack. I need that. God, we're going to come out of this with like 200 less stim packs than I started with. That's just the result of this DLC, though. That's just how it is, because, I mean, like I said, not an easy DLC. I don't really need the Stealth Boy. No, it's not an easy DLC. I mean, there's a lot of enemies. There's a lot of stuff you have to fight. Uh, Eddie, you are going to hold on to some crap for me, because I don't have room for it. Uh, you can take the Super Sledge and the Tri-Beams, and that's good enough. Eh, is there anything else I really want here? Nah, there's nothing else even up here. Uh, what else? What else are we gonna find? What else are we gonna find? Oh, crap. Uh, nuke. Once I detonate this, I'm probably gonna save. Because I haven't saved yet. Eddie, get away! I don't want it to blow up in your face! Okay, well, we apparently just destroyed a freaking building with that. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay. Well, I don't know what to say about that. We destroyed a freaking building uh, with the backblast of the nuke. And let's save, because I do not trust myself to not freaking... Well, no, I mean, it's not that I don't trust myself to not die, it's just... Because there aren't any death claws in the immediate vicinity that I can think of from a previous run of this, but I don't want the game to freeze because there's a lot of enemies here. And I don't know if the game can handle that. Now let's go back to the survivalist rifle. Haven't used this guy in a while. 5mm would still work just fine though. Can I get up there? Yes, I can get up there. Okay, let's see what's up here. I know I'm doing so much, like, scavenging and everything, but it's worth it because there's so many opportunities for money in this DLC. There's so many caps. Oh, this is good. This is good because this is actually uh, where we can get to Eddie's fourth upgrade. It's in this area. I think it's, like, in that sewer pipe or something. Huh? Uh, what? I apparently got a, uh, Wild Wasteland thingy? Okay, I do know that this is where the fourth, uh, upgrade is for Eddie, and we need to find it just because, like I said, I want to be Eddie Educated, which that's actually the name of the achievement. It's Eddie Educated or EDE Educated. And because it gives some awesome perks and stuff, so I don't see why I wouldn't want it. Uh-oh. Tunnelers. Come on. Lock onto his head. Hit. Hit the head. Hit the head. I hate it when it does that. Oh, crap. Okay, that was bad. Do some damage quickly so I can heal up again because that was very unlucky. 
God, I hate these things. Seriously, like, that's something that does get kind of annoying, though, about this DLC, is really, it's not as much that it's tougher enemies, for the most part, aside from the Death Claws. I mean, obviously, the Death Claws are tougher than a lot of enemies, but aside from the Death Claws, the enemies are not really all that much worse in this DLC. The problem is, they're all just really, really freaking cheap, and I didn't even see what that upgrade was. Dang it. Is that they're all just really, really cheap enemies. Oh, Bowie Knife. Ah, oh, I need that. Because, as you've seen from this DLC, they freaking murder you in, like, two hits, and it's really, really annoying, because... I mean, it's just annoying, because they kill you so quickly. And I mean, it's nice that they added in some extra challenge here, and why did I not read that before? Uh, just eat a bunch of stuff. I have so many MREs, but luckily they don't really weigh anything, actually. They only weigh, what, like 0.2 pounds, it said? Okay, so, what I need to do now is head on out of here and keep going through the Divide. I don't remember where the last upgrade is exactly. Uh, it's got a general location on this guide. It's like the Cave of the Abaddon. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. If not, it's not as big of an issue. Because, I mean, at least we found four of them. Alright, so, how am I going to fight these guys off? Uh, let's get back in the building. I don't even know what that wild wasteland thing was. There's no way I'm going to be able to hit him from up here. Uh, shoot, how am I going to do this? Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going with the anti-material rifle. I got 800 rounds of ammo. Hey, stop dancing to the left, man. Well, I guess if you're right, but... Okay, stop dancing. <laughs> stop dancing. What the heck? It's like he's dancing away from the bullets. That's actually really funny. It's like he knows just how to move. Actually, they both are. Okay. Dance for me. Dance for me. It's like what Claptrap said, dance for my entertainment. Ah, uh, Claptrap. Okay, that's a Gatling laser. Okay, they're doing like nothing to my armor, which is even funnier. I'm sitting still, and you haven't even taken off one bar of my health. If only it was carrying a flamer and it would be like in, uh real life, when if you shot the flamer tank, it would explode. That would be so cool. Okay. How many are left? One? Alright, come here, buddy. Well, you're not my buddy, but come here. You guys do realize you're not doing anything to me, right? Got him. Yeah, you guys do realize that you were literally doing nothing to me, right? Eh, no, they probably don't realize. Okay, this would probably... Oh, there's the cave, actually, so it's right over there somewhere. So we're actually in this upper part of the map now, which is pretty cool, I guess. Now would probably not be a bad time to return to this place and trade... So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to do some trading and such off screen of getting rid of some of this crap and healing up and getting my equipment repaired. So next time, guys, we will continue on through this DLC and get much closer to the end and hopefully find Eddie's last upgrade. So see you guys then.